We haven't talked about color a whole lot here on controlpaint.com. And you can see from this photo, which is from Red Dot Design at Flickr, that even white window paint can have a whole variety of colors. So it's safe to say that being able to both identify accurate color from observation, as well as imagining colors on your own, is a really important skill for painting. And in a previous video, which I've linked at the bottom of the post, we played a little game where we tried to pick colors directly out of a photo, and it is hard to do. In this video, I'm going to talk about a modification on that theme where you have an anchor to start from and then pick colors looking at color relativity. Let's take a look at this little sample square that I've got on my image, and it's just a layer that I can move around to isolate what it is I'm looking at. I'm going to begin by using the eyedropper tool and sampling this warm paint color right out of the image. And I'm going to use this as an anchor so I know that that is correct directly from the photo. And now I'm going to expand this a little bit just so I can see the transition. At the bottom of this painted board, you can see that the color definitely gets darker. There's some soft shadowing happening at the bottom. Well, to paint that color in, let's take a look at the color picker and guess a few things. So this is my anchor. This is where I'm starting from. And I know it gets darker as it recedes into the shadow. So that means I pull my circle down on the value slider. Because at the top of this window is light. That's a high value. And at the bottom is dark. And that's a low value. So pulling your selected color down towards the bottom makes it darker. Now I can also say that it looks a little bit more saturated. If I want to add saturation, I move to the right. So I'll pull this over to the right. And this is definitely not an exact science, but it's using color relativity. I know it's more saturated and darker value than the color that I started with. So I'll say OK, and I'll paint that down there. And I can tell immediately it's not quite dark enough value. So open my color picker again. And this time, just lower the value, keeping the hue the same. OK, that looks a bit better. So what I did there was I came to this color using the first color as a landmark. I didn't just open the color picker, pick some random rainbow color as a starting point, and then try and pick the color out of a vacuum. That's really hard to do, and that's what we did in the last video. So it's easier if you can start with a reference point. Okay, let's do it one more time. This time we're going to be looking at this paint. It starts with sort of a warm brown color and then shifts into a cooler, almost bluish gray. So I'll begin by sampling what it is at the top. It's a pretty warm gray. So as it transitions down, to me it looks like the value gets slightly lighter and it definitely gets less saturated. So I'll sample that color, open my eyedropper, so it gets slightly lighter, which means I push it up a little bit, raising the value. And I know it gets a lot less saturated because it looks very gray. All right, and I'll paint that down. So there you go, that's pretty close. And I came to that, again, because it was relative to the one I already knew. And likewise, if I wanted to go more to the top of the frame, like up there, I would start with my anchor. And then I know that this gets a lot darker, so, so lower in value, so I'll pull that down. But also, it looks like it gets a little more saturated. So I'll add a little saturation by moving it to the right. Okay, and I'll paint that in. I can tell it's not quite dark enough. So I'll lower the value. Okay, that looks pretty good. There's nothing about doing this that feels glamorous. The end result is 
boring at best. But believe it when I say that this technique of being able to look at colors accurately and to put them down in your image is invaluable. So if you want to practice it this way, that's great. Or if there's some other technique that you like to do to practice the same idea, let's hear about it in the comments. Because this is really important and often overlooked by a lot of the tutorial sites out there. So good luck with this and thanks for watching.